Hi children, another reading day, another week of reading. You know, today is the closing day of the reading week. So let's once again pay tribute to Sri P. N. Panikkar, who is the father of library movement in Kerala, who worked really hard to bring complete literacy to our state. Okay children, we celebrate this week every year. This year also, all through the week, we have been introduced to many authors, books, many of your friends, teachers and many other eminent personalities share lots of things with you. How many of you have been really influenced by all this? Every year we go on seeing all these things, right? I ask all my students to develop the habit of reading. And next time when I meet them, I ask them, have you started reading? Then they give me a naughty smile that speaks everything. Of course, I know some of you are good readers. But some of you, I think most of you, are a little bit reluctant in reading. Maybe, like J.K. Rowling said, you haven't yet got the right book. There is a general notion that it's the media that keeps the children away from books. I do not totally agree with that because media helps the students in many ways. I think it improves their communication skill, it enhances their general knowledge and it helps even adults in many ways. We are more aware of many things. So media is inevitable nowadays. Recently, I happened to come across a humorous statement that said, mobile phones were not allowed in schools but now all the schools are inside the mobile phones. That's true, right? We cannot underestimate the importance of media now. We have to move along with that. So the only thing is, our students should be properly channelized to use the media. They should not be addicted to that. We should lead them and channelize them in the right manner. They should be tactfully led to the world of reading. Once they understand the value of books, the fascination of reading will never leave them. Reading make the full man, says Francis Bacon. Reading is to the mind what exercise is to the body. Joseph Edison's words, according to Stephen King, books are uniquely portable magic. Yes, every reader is a leader. According to Harry S. Truman, all readers need not be leaders, but a leader is definitely a reader. Yes, children, a reader will always stand out in a crowd. I'm not elaborating. Today I'll introduce a special friend to you who will enlighten you about the magical world of reading. Master Kenneth John George is a 12th grader in C.K. Menace's Chalakudi. His proud parents are Dr. George John, an orthopedic surgeon, and Ms. Linda Joseph, who is a renowned journalist. Kenneth was also a normal child who did not much like reading. But once he was open to the magical world of reading, he became a voracious reader. Now, he is the proud author of seven books. Can you believe it? And he is a state winner in essay writing, all because of his reading. Let us welcome Master Kenneth John to share his experience on reading. Welcome, Kenneth. It is not true that we have only one life to live. If we can read, we can live as many lives and as many more kinds of lives as we wish. Hello everyone, my name is Kenneth John George and I'm a 12th grader of CK MNSS Chalakudi. As a voracious reader, I'm highly privileged to talk about the importance of reading. I remember the time I started getting into books and that was the best decision I made. I did not even consider reading anything other than my textbooks or menus at restaurants until then. I didn't enjoy going to the library and was not interested to know what books could actually do. In 2016, I was gifted a set of four books which was part of a series. To be honest, I was upset and disappointed. I would rather have some Beyblades or Hot Wheels which I could use to have fun with my friends. 
It is more fun than books, of course. But I made a mistake. I promised to read them. Unwillingly, I grabbed one, a week after placing them in my empty shelf. I dusted and took the first one of the series. I began to read through, thinking of scrolling through the first and the last chapter. I read the first chapter, then the second, then the third, and I went on. In about three hours, I had finished the whole book. I was really surprised because I really enjoyed reading through those pages. I told my mom about it, who is a voracious reader and journalist, and she was surprised how out of nowhere her son started getting into books. I have been compelled by many, including my mother, to read and how books could do miracles to you. I didn't believe it until that moment when I read passionately and looked forward to read in my free time. I accompanied my mother to bookshops and purchased every book of the collection called Geronimo Stilton. It took time, but I finished most of the collection of Geronimo Stilton, which included 60 plus books. My interest in reading and collecting books grew as I got older. As a young child, I completed the Diary of the Wimpy Kid series, The Hardy Boys, Trials of Apollo, Heroes of Olympus, Percy Jackson series, many Christian books, and more. As time went by, I noticed how I enjoyed typing and writing down my thoughts, and so I began to write. I grabbed notebooks and began to write stories with my friends as characters. I enjoyed letting my mother, friends, family, and also teachers read my work and give me suggestions. Until today, I never stop reading or writing. They are the two best hobbies I have which I never want to let go of. Books have inspired me to conceptualize, visualize and cultivate a creative mind. As I look back to my old self, I think how late I was to get into reading and writing. But I praise God that I at least got into it. I believe that reading is the biggest source of knowledge available to us. The best part is that every time we read, we acquire information. Reading has helped us in every manner to become what we are today. Taking an example, we need to read our textbooks to acquire knowledge. Teachers explain the topics and do their 50% and the rest of the 50% depends on reading the text. Even in the simplest case like that, reading plays a major role. In the same way, there are millions of examples of how reading has helped mankind. With the advanced technology we have today, it takes seconds to download a book on your device with the help of apps like Audible, eBook and more. While years ago, purchasing a rare book was not easy. There are a lot of genres available to us these days like crime, thrillers, horrors, comedy and more. For all the science lovers out there, there are a lot of science fictional novels and stories available. The biggest blessing we have today is that we have millions of books available to us with the help of amazing authors around the world. Name the kind of book you need and it is there. That is the greatest privilege for all of us. If a person like me who hated to read books can read series after series, then you really can. Reading is an exercise for the mind. It helps kids calm down and relax opening doors of new knowledge to enlighten our minds. Kids who read grow up to have a better cognitive skills. Reading is good for everyone, not only kids or young adults. I believe that books are like water to plants. They help us grow into the best of ourselves. Vocabulary, skill, intelligence and more are cultivated with the help of reading and books can be the greatest source of daily information in our lives. Along my journey as a bibliophile, I've written and completed seven books and more truncated fiction novels which are not published yet. I'm still waiting to find the perfect piece of my work for the readers and I'm still working on that. I would like to quote the lines of Mr. Shashi Tarur which I felt was really inspiring and relatable here. The great joy of reading is the joy of discovering the story, new words and ideas. Reading gives you the pleasure of concentration. Books can take you to the other world. Reading is a way of learning how to write. I believe that literature and writing are intimate arts. With writing, you express yourself in words as much as the way in which you talk or speak. When my friends started reading my story and found those exciting, I began to believe in myself. Friends, I recommend you start with smaller books, then upgrade along the way. Trust me, there's a magical feeling about reading books. Research the type of books you want to read and select the best one. I know how happy you're going to feel when reading is an everyday hobby. 
To all my friends who are planning to become published writers one day, I recommend you start right away. Write down your ideas and always think from the reader's perspective. We want them to enjoy every word that they read. The time we have now is precious and using it is the best you can do for yourself. So develop your ideas and provide them to the world to read. It is important to meditate on your ideas as you don't want to stop in the middle of a masterpiece. The question you should always have in your mind is that will this be interesting to the reader and hesitation can be a bad sign. So it's important to meditate on your thoughts and ideas. I wish you all success and happiness. I rest my words. Thank you for having me with you and have an amazing reading week.